Hi there, welcome to Virtual Family Storytime. Today we're going to be reading some stories about clay. Have you ever created with clay? Maybe a Play-Doh substance? Well, creating is really fun, isn't it? Well, we're going to be reading about some characters made out of clay, some characters who create with clay, and some artists who create illustrations with clay. So let's start. Our first story today is about a rabbit creating with clay, and it's called Gray Rabbits. One, two, three, learn your numbers with little rabbits. One day, Gray Rabbit found some clay. He made one wiggly squiggly worm. Day two, he made two chattering, clattering toucans. One, two. Wow, they have bright colors, don't they? And day three, he made three growling, prowling bears. Oh, wow, there's a yellow bear and a blue bear and even a green one. And then Little Gray Rabbit made four happy, yappy dogs. Oh, look, there's a little family of dogs. And then five freckled, speckled frogs. Wow, look at them all. One, two, three, four, five. And then Gray Rabbit made six sliding, gliding snakes. Oh my, look, there's a blue one and a pink one, a yellow and turquoise. Wow, six snakes. And then seven so slow snails. Wow, they look like snow snails. And then eight rumpeting, trumpeting elephants. Wow, look at them. There's big ones, there's small ones, all different colors. Wow, eight elephants. And then Gray Rabbit made nine spotted, dotted bugs. Look at the bugs. There's red and yellow, blue and orange. Bugs. And at last, Gray Rabbit made ten squeaking, peeking mice. Oh, look at the mothers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, Gray Rabbit's pretty talented, isn't he? And all that creating left Gray Rabbit at the end of the day, one weary blurry rabbit fast asleep. Look at that, rabbit even made a chair for himself. Wow, he's really talented. Well, that's the end of Gray Rabbit's one, two, three, learn your numbers with clay. Wow, Gray Rabbit is pretty fascinating, isn't he? It's amazing what you can make out of a little bit of clay. It's an imagination. Well, let's see what our other character's gonna make in our next book. Our second story today is of two characters made of clay, and it's called Claymates. So, are you new here? Mm, yeah, me too. What do you think is going to happen? Hmm, probably something wonderful. Oh, wow, look, the artist is coming to play. Oh, she's grabbing the first brown one. Look, she's sculpting the brown one. What do you think she's making? Oh, she's adding some eyes, doing some carvings. What does that look like? Oh, now she's grabbed number two. Wow, the gray clay, what is he gonna become? Wow, she's really sculpting and bringing out the eyes. What do you think they are? <sighs> Finally, she's gone. That took like a really long time and it was so boring. But look at us, we're perfect. Hey, watch this. Ta-da! Yikes. Oh, what did he do to himself? Oh, he stretched out his ears. He still got his tongue. What is he? You definitely shouldn't do that. Why not? I can fix it. Don't I look lovely? Oh. You look like you're going to get us in trouble. Mm, you try. Nope. Oh, come on. Fine. And yeah. 
Look, he stretched out his ears. And then puff. Yeah. Look, they both changed themselves. What do you think about that? Wow, this is fun. Look, I'm an elephant. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And you know what elephants want? Peanuts. Oh no, the owl turned himself into a peanut. Wow, you're one heavy peanut. Whoops, got your trunk. You don't really need a trunk when you're a pig elephant. Look at that, he made himself into a pig elephant. That's nothing, watch this. Boink, oh, I'm a three-eyed alien. Look at me, look at me, I'm a cyclops. Whoa, let's think big. Bigger than an elephant? Bigger. Ta-da! Oh, too, too big. That is too big. Fine then. Small. Smaller. Flat. Flatter. Sharp. Sharper. Boing. Yes. Look at me. I have two. What does he look like? Five. Wow, they're really changing themselves. Boom. Whoa, that's like a super puffer fish. Stop, stop, you win. That was great. Remember when I pulled this out of my nose? So funny. You should have seen yourself. Wait a minute, you should see yourself now. You're a mess. Oh no, are they messes? They look a little funny, don't they? Uh-oh, just don't, oh, I think she's coming back. What, what should we do? I don't know, this is your idea. It was a bad one. Let's let's just fix ourselves. What do you think? Uh, I can't do this. Don't give up. All is lost. Hurry, she's right outside. Go on, go on without me. Oh no, can these friends come together and help? Well, I will fix you. You do that for me? Of course I would. That's what friends are for. And, 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 ha, how do I look? Do I look weird? You look terrific. What do you think, does he look terrific? Hurry, you have to fix yourself too. Dun, 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 and there, perfect. Um, what are you supposed to be again? An owl, silly. Really? Um, yeah, of course. I don't want to shock you, but... Shh, here she comes. Oh, this is never going to work. It'll be fine. You were supposed to be a hippo, right? What? Oh, oh no. <gasps> she, she looks angry. I hope she doesn't get those pointy sticks back out again. Oh no. Not uh, yet. It's so much worse the second time. Ah, look at the artist. She's re-sculpting the characters. What is she going to make them be again? Maybe a wolf? Maybe an owl? Look at that. Oh, look, she put the owl on a tree. And she put the wolf at the bottom of the tree. Now she's taking pictures. Hmm, maybe she's an illustrator. But then, look, they're back to being clops of clay. Hooray, she's gone. It's nice to be back to our old selves again. I'm exhausted. There's no time to rest. Why? What happens now? Something wonderful. And look, all of these eyes, it looks like they're gonna start creating again, doesn't it? Wow, it was so fun reading about these two characters in Claymate. Wouldn't it be fun to actually visit an actual pottery studio and see how other artists create with clay? Well, we're really lucky today to be able to take a field trip to the Center for the Visual Arts, located downtown in Wassa, where they have their own pottery studio. And maybe they'll show us some creative tips.
Laura Mullen. I'm an artist who works in clay. Welcome to the Center for the Visual Arts in downtown Wausau. Today, we will be learning about the magic of clay at the CBA Pottery Studio. We use two types of clay at the CBA. We use stoneware and we use porcelain. Ceramic clay is water-based and can be fired to high temperatures. Our stoneware clay is a red color due to the iron oxide present in the clay body. Our porcelain lacks iron oxide and fires to a white color. Our stoneware clay fires to a red stone-like finish. Clay is made when water breaks down over long periods of time. Like the characters in the book Claymates, clay itself goes through many transformations. The clay I am holding in my hand could have been part of an ancient mountain range or a deep sea volcano. Since clay needs an abundance of water to be formed, it is actually pretty rare in our solar system. Luckily for us, we have a lot of it on Earth. Clay is a really special material since it is so malleable to the touch. Just as the little bunnies and gray rabbits one, two, three, form it into many creatures, so can you. We also use many tools to help us form clay in our pottery studio. Many of the tools that we use are the same tools as you see in the book Claymates. I think I'm gonna make a little snail. Let's see here. So I'm gonna roll a coil. And I think I'm gonna use this wooden trimming tool to make some stripes on where my shell is going to be. And then I am going to start to roll my shell into place. Let's see. And this guy got a little long, so I'm just gonna take my fettling knife and trim off that section. And now I am going to start to form the body of the snail. Let's see. And I think this guy needs two little antennas. And now my favorite part, which is giving this snail a little expression. And he's a happy snail. Now that your pottery has dried, it's called greenware. It needs to go into the kiln and be fired to about 1800 degrees so that once it comes out, the surface is more porous, a little bit more durable, and can take glaze. Glaze is applied. Glaze is made of powdered glass called silica. Unlike paints, the glaze you apply often looks vastly different from what it will look like when it comes out of the kiln. For instance, this is a glaze called floating blue. When it's applied to bisqueware, it's this red color pigmented by red iron oxide. There's also a material in this glaze called cobalt carbonate. When cobalt is fired at high temperatures, it turns blue. That is why you see the glaze turn out like this. After your piece has been bisked, it's ready for glaze. Once glazed, we'll put it in the kiln again. The final glaze firing is around 2100 degrees, 
that's six times hotter than a pizza oven, so pretty hot. Once it's fired, you'll see that the glaze has transformed the surface into a more durable, uh, shiny finish. I hope you enjoyed your field trip to the CVA Pottery Studio. Please visit our website, cvawasa.org, to learn more about our youth clay classes, camps, upcoming events, and more. Our last story for today is titled Wolf Boy. And if you look really close, you might notice that a lot of the illustration is hand sculpted clay. Fun is that? Once there was a full moon. Wow, it looks full and bright. Wolf Boy stomped beneath the shadowy trees. He was hungry. Rabbits, rabbits, where are you? He howled, but the rabbits nowhere to be found. Wolf Boy sloshed across the murky creek. He was hungry and huffy. Rabbits, rabbits, where are you? Do you see any rabbits? Hmm. So Wolf Boy climbed up the creaky old oak. He was hungry and huffy and drooly. He needed rabbits. Rabbits, rabbits, where are you? He was hungry and huffy, drooly and growly. Rabbits, rabbits, where are you? Wolf Boy leaped across a steep ravine. Wow, that's a big gap. But Wolf Boy must have a lot of power to jump that. And he marched into the Moonberry Meadow. He was hungry and huffy and drooly and growly and fussy. Rabbits, rabbits, where are you? He howled. But the rabbits were nowhere to be found. So Wolf Boy yowled and growled and clumped and tromped. I don't need you anyways, rabbits, he roared. But suddenly there was a rustle in the grass. Wolf Boy froze. A twig snapped. Wolf Boy's eyes sharpened. Then he saw two long ears. Could that be the rabbit? And a furry foot. A cottontail. Whoa. Wolf boy crouched low. Oh no, that rabbit better run, right? One by one. Little rabbits hopped out of the shadows. Wolf Boy opened his big snarling snout. He was drooly and growly and fussy. Rabbits, where have you been? You're late for our feast. Oh, Wolf Boy, the rabbits proudly said. We, we made you a moonberry pie. Wolf Boy gulped and then he crunched and munched and gobbled and gulped. Look at that wolf boy. What is he eating? Rabbits is just so hungry and, and huffy and drooly and growly and fussy. And don't forget Holly, the rabbit said. But now I am happy. Oh, wolf boy, he got his moonberry pie. All the rabbits now are happy in France. Oh, wolf boy. Now look, he's going home with a few mulberry pies with him. But as long as the story ends, we're happy, right? That's the end of wolf boy. I'm so glad he stopped being growly and huffy and fussy and became happy in the end. 
Well, thank you for joining us today. We're so happy to read about clay and all the creative things you can do with it. And thanks again to the Center for the Visual Arts for allowing us to have that field trip and showing us the Pottery Studio. Well, I hope you're able to create with clay sometime or even Play-Doh. It's all fun. Till next time.